Oh my God, someone pinch me please because I wanna know if this is a dream or not. All right, stop pinching, it sure is real. The background video you are watching right now is the official teaser for Natlon. I know you all are crazy excited, so let's look at this video and figure out what is happening. At first glance, when we see it, it looks like a completely different game. I actually thought this was a trailer for some other Hoyo project, but then realized this is a Genshin exclusive stream. All right, let's properly check it out. At the start, they show these six symbols, which could represent six different tribes, or most likely the dragons we can transform into. Then they zoom into Rhyperior or Rhydon-looking creatures. These look like we can use them as a way to travel the land and also jump around mountains, which is so dope. It also looks like it can climb walls and in certain areas be faster. Maybe there will be some form of stamina limit or duration limit for these creatures, which means if there is stamina, we cannot use them permanently. But at the end of the teaser, there is a Pokemon-looking thing that can fly. So we definitely need more info. But I really hope we can just permanently fly around and use them. Next, they show us water and lava riding Vishap. The same principle applies here as well. You can swim in the water and lava with this Pokemon. After that, they show us the chicken boss in Sumeru. Not gonna lie, all these Vishaps or dragons or whatever they are look really cute. Anyway, the green chicken has a very long tongue, which we can use to catch stuff, traverse things, and also probably use as a weapon against monsters. And lastly, we see a flying dragon or something, so this is the mount system that the data miners have been talking about. Well, they surely didn't explain how cool and cute these things were. Like, wow. I know you can't feel my excitement through this script, but I am screaming while making this video. Hoyo, please just skip 4.8 and let's just hope right in 5.0. I can see myself playing on the Natlan map forever. They only showcase three creatures, but if we look back, there is six. This could either mean we are only getting three in 5.0, and slowly throughout 5.1 and 5.2, we will unlock the rest three. Since Genshin has always teased us with future content, that is a version further. Like during the 3.0 trailer, they showed us the 3.1 map. In 4.1, they had voice lines of 4.2. The other possibility is that these six are available on 5.0, and maybe they will add more creatures later. Anyway, we will get a glimpse of this during 4.8, since Genshin likes to tease new mechanics and things coming in the new nation on the last patch of the old nation. And also, because we have heard it a thousand times from the data miners that a dragon mount system will be teased during 4.8. Then, at the very end of the video, we get to see a very big chunk of Natlan. I honestly wasn't expecting to see a minute-long video, but it is what I have been asking. I can't wait to see what they show us during the 4.8 livestream since that's when we will get to see the map as a whole and also meet some of the characters. It would be funny if the characters in Natlan were just dragons like this, and we all just turned into Pokémon the moment we stepped inside. Maybe that's why no one leaves Natlan. Anyway, jokes aside, I'm super hyped for Natlan and the upcoming characters. The future is looking good indeed. So what do you think? Comment down your thoughts, and while you are at it, like and sub too. Oh, and turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day, everyone.